When creating multi-line text, as you type, if you enter a forward slash, a pound symbol, or a caret symbol, the program assumes that you are entering a fraction or tolerance and offers to adjust the formatting automatically to create a stacked fraction or tolerance. For example, start the multi-line text command, specify the opposite corners of the text box, and then start typing. Install two empty one half space. Notice that as soon as you type the two and then type any non-numeric character, in this case a space, the program automatically converts the one half into a stacked fraction and displays it as such. An icon indicates that the text has been stacked. You can click on the icon to access relevant controls for that stacked fraction. For example, click the icon. The program displays a menu. By default, the fraction was created as a horizontal stacked fraction. Choose Diagonal to change the fraction into a diagonal fraction. Click to position the cursor at the right end of the text so that you can continue typing. Type Conduit Runs. Then press Enter to start a new paragraph. To create a tolerance, type 1 space plus 0 0.05 caret minus 0 0.02. As soon as you press the space bar, the program automatically stacks the values to create a tolerance. Again, you can click the icon to display a menu with tools for controlling the auto stack behavior. Consider one more example. Click to position the cursor to the right of the tolerance, press Enter to start a new paragraph, and then type one single quote or foot symbol space zero space three pound symbol four double quote or inch symbol. This time the program automatically formats the fraction as a diagonal stacked fraction because you separated the three and the four with a pound symbol. And again, you can see the auto stack icon. Click the tool in the ribbon to close the text editor. Then zoom in on the text. Once you have created stacked fractions or tolerances, you can select them and change their formatting. Double click the text to go back into the multi line text editor and then select the one half fraction. You again see the auto stack icon. Click that icon to display the menu and choose horizontal to convert the fraction to a horizontal stacked fraction. Click the icon again and choose unstack. The fraction is no longer stacked. In the formatting panel, click the stack tool to toggle this back to a stacked fraction. When you select the fraction, you can use the tool in the ribbon to toggle between a stacked and an unstacked fraction. With the fraction selected, you can also right click and select unstack in the shortcut menu. Note that there is also a stack properties tool. This tool also appears in the auto stack menu. Press Escape to close the shortcut menu, and then click the Auto Stack icon. Choose Stack Properties to open the Stack Properties dialog. The tools in this dialog enable you to control the various properties of the stacked fraction. For example, in the Text group box, you can change the upper and lower text. In the Appearance group box, you can expand the style drop down and select a different fraction style format. 
the position dropdown lets you change how the fraction is aligned. And the text size controls the size of the stack text as a percentage of the size of the current textile. If you have made any changes, you can expand the defaults dropdown and save those new settings as the new default settings, or restore the previous default settings. Click Auto Stack to open the Auto Stack Properties dialog. Here you can control whether the program automatically creates stacked fractions and tolerances and how you want them to be formatted. By default, auto stacking is enabled, and when you use a forward slash, the program formats the fraction as a horizontal fraction. Note that you can also remove leading blank spaces within fractions. Click Cancel to close the Auto Stack Properties dialog. Close the Stack Properties dialog, and then close the text editor.